Will your chainsaw nut cut squarely through a log? Does the chain fall off the bar? If so, you probably need a new guide bar. The chainsaw chain attaches to and rotates around the guide bar. The guide bar is a solid or laminated steel bar. It has a groove milled all the way around its edge that the chain fits into. Most bars have a rotating sprocket on the tip that reduces friction as the chain curves around it. The bar has a slot and one or more holes milled in it so it can be mounted to the saw, be properly tensioned, and feed oil to the chain. Guide bars will wear over time. The chain groove will widen, which will cause the chain to tilt and pull to one side when cutting. The tip of the bar, just in front of the sprocket, is a common wear spot. The metal will wear faster here, which can lead to the chain not lining up with the sprocket, causing it to jump off the bar. Dirt is the guide bar's enemy. When dirt gets between the chain and the bar, it acts like sandpaper, quickly wearing the chain groove wider. You should always make sure the bar oiler is working each time you use the saw. No bar oil will speed up wear and cause heat damage to the bar and the chain. Replacing the guide bar is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll remove the side cover by removing the two nuts and loosening the tension screw. With the clutch cover removed, now I can remove the bar and the chain. Now I'll install the bar and the chain. On this saw, it's easiest to place the chain on the bar first, and then this whole assembly onto the saw. Now as I mount this, you want to make sure that you have the chain on the right direction. On the bottom part of the bar, the sharp side of the tooth should be pointing back towards the saw, otherwise it won't cut right. Now I can place the chain around the sprocket, and then guide the bar onto the saw over the bar bolts. Like that. Once I have it in place on the saw, I'll go ahead and pull the bar forward as far as it'll go, just like that. And now I can install the side cover. I place it over the bar bolts and I'll adjust the adjustment screw until the pin on the side cover falls into the hole on the bar. So it's easiest to do if you have a long screwdriver, but any screwdriver will work. And I'll just adjust it one way or another until it lines up with that hole in the bar. I'm applying a little sideward pressure so it'll snap into place when it finds that hole like that. Now that it's engaged in the bar, I'm going to turn it the opposite direction until it starts to put some tension on the chain. And now I'll go ahead and install the nuts. At this point I'm just going to put the nuts on finger tight. Now we'll go ahead and tension the chain. To do that I'll grab the tip of the bar and raise it up as high as it'll go. Then I can check the tension on the chain. Without pulling real hard, just a normal grasp, you want to grab the chain and lift it up. You want to be able to lift the chain, but no more than about the height of the driver links. So I'll just grab it, lift it up. Looks like it's still just a little bit loose. So I'll tighten the screw a little bit more. Check it again. That looks good. So now I'll go ahead and tighten down the bar nuts.